In this video, we will talk about the health of such an important organ as the pancreas. There is not a single person in the world who would not want to maintain excellent health as long as possible. Because metabolism and smooth operation of all systems of the human body is largely determined by the state of the pancreas. The health of the pancreas directly affects life expectancy. The pancreas works tirelessly, literally around the clock, producing digestive enzymes and hormones, but, in fact, it is involved in two vital functions, digestive and hormonal. It is the one that regulates carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism, so it is very important to treat it with care and prevent wear and tear on this organ. Any damage to the pancreas leads to severe consequences and long-term, sometimes lifelong treatment. What products should be included in your diet so as not to harm this most important organ? Watch the video to the end to find out how to preserve the pancreas after 50 years and what products should be favored for its maximum recovery and which ones should be excluded. So, if you want to become a master of your health, click like and let's get started. Let's start by naming seven essential foods that will help ensure that your pancreas functions effectively. The first product is broccoli. It helps to create a protective layer that protects the epithelial tissues of the pancreas from the effects of aggressive substances. Apigenin also has a favorable effect on the organ. Broccoli also has anti-inflammatory properties. Interestingly, in recent years, researchers have drawn attention to the anti-cancer properties of broccoli in oncology. In addition, broccoli contains many vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants that are good for the pancreas and the body as a whole. It is recommended to consume about 500 grams of broccoli per week. The second product is pumpkin. The vegetable of bright, cheerful color has a tender and soft texture. Pumpkin protects the cells of the pancreas from the effects of harmful substances, thereby preventing their death. In addition, it normalizes the state of the pancreatic ducts, through which passes the pancreatic juice produced by this organ. Another important property of pumpkin is that it reduces the likelihood of sharp fluctuations in blood sugar levels. Pumpkin improves the condition of not only the pancreas, but also the entire body. For example, it improves sleep and normalizes vision no worse than carrots and other orange products. Because pumpkin is very rich in carotenoids, this makes the vegetable useful for the skin, heart, blood vessels, and the entire gastrointestinal tract. Pumpkin is high in vitamins, fiber, and pectin. How much pumpkin can be eaten for maximum effect? In a day, you should eat no more than 150 grams of the vegetable, and in a week, no more than one kilogram. The third product necessary for the pancreas is walnuts. Nuts, in general, all are useful but walnuts are in the lead in this group of products. Walnuts have a valuable property. Reduce inflammation in the tissues of the pancreas. Accelerate the healing of damage. Protect the pancreas from the harmful effects of free radicals. Walnuts also have a positive effect on carbohydrate metabolism, i.e., they keep blood sugar levels under control. Walnuts are high in tocopherol, zinc, cobalt, and vitamins. They reduce bad cholesterol levels, bringing the cholesterol profile to normal. In addition, walnuts have a positive effect on vascular health, increase hemoglobin levels, improve sleep and mood. Nuts are very caloric, and to achieve a positive effect, in fact, they should be eaten very little. 20 or 30 grams three times a week will be enough. It is not recommended to eat more than this amount, because nuts in excessive quantities are quite heavy and caloric food and can cause some heaviness in the stomach, as well as become the cause of overweight. The fourth product is zucchini. The role of this unpretentious vegetable is that it can reduce the load on the tissues of the pancreas and also improves the excretion of toxins and toxins through the intestines. An essential point is that the vegetable does not provoke sharp spikes in blood sugar levels, which are very harmful to the pancreas. Zucchini contains many vitamins, ascorbic acid, minerals, zinc, and cobalt. Zucchini contribute to the coherent work of the entire gastrointestinal tract as a whole. As for the quantity, it is recommended to eat several servings of zucchini per week. The main thing is to know the measure and not to consume more than 500 grams a day. Number five, now let's pay attention to such a healing product as yogurt. Of course, we are talking about real, live, natural yogurt. It should be a product without preservatives and added sugar 
such yogurt has a limited shelf life, and it is difficult to find it on the shelves of supermarkets. Therefore, it is better to prepare live yogurt yourself. It is not difficult at all. Such a product is very useful, as it will accelerate the digestion and assimilation of proteins and other nutrients and will contribute to a balanced production of enzymes, and this, in turn, will reduce the load on the pancreas. Live yogurt contains a significant amount of probiotics, which are truly invaluable for the entire gastrointestinal tract. Probiotics improve and maintain the health of the beneficial gut flora. Their role is to ensure healthy immunity and metabolism in the body, which has a positive impact on quality of life, right down to aspects such as sleep and mood. After the age of 50, special attention should be paid to calcium intake. Fermented milk products are the best sources of calcium. How much yogurt can and should be consumed? The recommended dose is about 200 grams per day. Number six, another product that the pancreas literally falls in love with is blueberries. These berries have a unique property. They support the synthesis of a substance called glucagon, thereby reducing excessive stress on the pancreas. Blueberries also reduce the chances of stones forming in the pancreatic ducts. In addition, blueberries improve blood cholesterol profile, reduces the likelihood of atherosclerosis, blockage of blood vessels cholesterol plaques, has a positive effect on blood pressure, strengthens the immune defense system, improves the nervous system. Blueberries, a treasure trove of ascorbic acid and vitamins, as well as antioxidants and flavonoids. It is enough to eat 100 grams of blueberries a day. For those who suffer from diabetes, blueberries are an indispensable berry. Tea from this plant, like fresh berries, lowers blood sugar, cleanses the liver, improves bile flow, and stimulates the pancreas. The seventh, and finally, an unusual useful product that completes our rating is lentils. This representative of the legume family will undoubtedly please the pancreas. The product is an invaluable source of vegetable proteins, which is unique for the human body, is a treasure trove of unique soluble fiber, which is well digested, stimulating digestion. Lentils lead among legumes in iron, potassium, rich in vitamins, including folic acid and essential amino acids. Lentils are known to normalize blood sugar levels, which is why they are recommended for diabetics. Lentils also cleans blood vessels from cholesterol. If you consume this product regularly, three times a week, you can forever forget about such unpleasant problems as constipation, abdominal bloating, dysbacteriosis, and irritable bowel syndrome. It is optimal for an adult to eat about 200 grams of lentils a day. Unfortunately, this product remains underestimated. It is consumed much less often than it deserves. Everyone can face problems with the pancreas. However, troubles can be avoided if you make your diet from what the pancreas likes, because after 50 years of age, it is of fundamental importance. Now for the very important part of our video. What foods should not be eaten with pancreatic problems? When you have pancreatic problems, it's important to avoid foods that can aggravate inflammation, put extra strain on your digestive system, or provoke pain. Here is a list of foods that you should exclude or limit. Alcoholic beverages. Alcohol is one of the main causes of pancreatic inflammation and can cause pancreatitis. Fatty foods. Fatty meats, cheeses, butter, and other foods high in saturated fat can aggravate pancreatic problems. Fried foods. Fried foods are difficult to digest and can cause pain and discomfort. Spicy foods. Spicy spices and sauces can irritate the pancreas. Fast carbohydrates. White bread, sweets, carbonated drinks, and other foods high in sugar and refined carbohydrates can cause blood sugar spikes and further burden the pancreas. Coffee and other caffeine-containing beverages. Caffeine can stimulate gastric juice production and increase pain. Canned and processed foods. These foods are often high in salt, sugar, and preservatives, which can negatively affect digestion. Legumes. Beans, peas, and other legumes can cause bloating and gas, which is undesirable for pancreatic problems. Cabbage and some other cruciferous vegetables. Despite their benefits, they can provoke gas and discomfort in some pancreatic problems. Strong tea and chocolate. Like coffee, these products contain substances that can increase the symptoms of pancreatic inflammation. It's important to listen to your doctor's recommendations and possibly develop a personalized eating plan with a dietitian 
to keep your pancreas and entire digestive tract healthy. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.